Hey, this is Drew with Engearman.com. I've been testing out this gear sled made by Ski Polk. It's called their Snow Clipper. I've really wanted a sled to carry heavy loads in winter to do things like go to hut trips. We've got a kid now, and for all of the gear that we have to take to get him in the mountains for a few days, it really is enough to fill this whole thing. Um, I learned a while ago when I was working in winter that sleds are really your friend moving heavy loads in snow. A load that would be totally crushing on a backpack uh, can tow just fine in a sled. I've towed up to 90 pounds. Behind me on skis in the sled I towed um, 50 pounds in this a few weekends ago when we went to the McNamara hut in the Elk Mountains. Uh, my wife had to manage the Baby, he was only seven months old at the time, so I carried this, towed it behind me, and it worked really well. So I'm going to show you guys some of the features that make this an awesome sled for towing gear. So this is the Snow Clipper sled. The company is called Ski Polk. They make a variety of sleds that range from your classic orange open top Paris style to uh, some very long fiberglass expedition sleds that are uh, efficient for you know miles and miles of glacier terrain, things like that. They call this their um, you know their real good all arounder sled for carrying gear, and this is why it is rotationally molded. It's a very thick plastic. This is the same process that's used for making kayaks and Yeti style coolers and things like that. So this thing is really beefy. The, uh, the base I can feel between my fingers. It's like a half inch thick of plastic. I um, basically expect this to last a lifetime. The workmanship on this thing is really good. Um, it's basically just a unibody rotationally molded um, sled shell and then it has these very thick pins for installing their pole system. It also comes pre-drilled with several quarter inch holes uh, for doing straps. You can um, do your own or use the straps that they provide. You could obviously drill more holes if you wanted to. A really cool feature of this sled are these retractable fins. Since this sled with the harness system that I'll show next actually handles really well, you can ski behind it at high speeds or down a moderate slope. You can even make turns. Um, these fins help it track. They really help when it's side hilling. So these fins you can just deploy down with your hand and um, you know they'll help it track and then you can just push them back up. You don't really need them for flat ground. So that's pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the pole system. Uh, in terms of skiing ability, sled's really only as good as its pole and harness system, and this sled comes with a, a really good setup. So it has these half-inch fiberglass poles. They're really stout. I like to run them in an X pattern. It goes into two ball joints, one on each side. It goes to a really beefy pin. Uh, you can install all this or change it in the field with gloves on. It's really easy to manipulate. And then Ski Polk sells a couple different harnesses. This is um, basically just uh, uh, it's the second most basic one. It's a hip belt with a couple straps that go under your legs to help it keep in place with a heavy load. And it just comes with a bunch of loops on the side and some cotter pins to let you mount in four different places depending on your waist size. Something really cool about this sled is it comes with a bunch of different carry options for hauling your load. Um, like I said, there's holes drilled into the rails. It comes with a bunch of one inch light webbing and slide buckles. So you could use that. You could use any kind of cord you have. Um, you can also, if you wish, purchase this cover 
that they sell. It's a custom-made coated nylon cover that really wraps around the entire perimeter of the sled and keeps the snow out. So this cover is really cool. Um, you can just put it around the perimeter of the sled. And tighten it in place. It has a uh, camming buckle on the back. And then where these straps come through, they just simply run through these holes on the uh, rail and clip to the load carrier. Tighten it back. And now you have something to tighten your load down on each side. It has this big zipper with a big mitten pull. Operate it in really cold temperatures and it totally encloses all of your load. You could carry, you know, gear for five people for a week in this. It's really, really large. It seals on the outside, keeps the snow out. I dragged it through a bunch of powder snow and everything stayed dry on the inside. So that pretty much wraps it up. This is the snow clipper sled. It's really durable, heavy duty rotational molded plastic. Um, really solid pole system, comes with a good harness, you can control it really well, it's fun, you can even make turns in it on like a 20-25 degree snow slope. Um, it has additional load carrying options with this cover and strap system. It's an awesome tool for carrying things around in the winter.